so we are on our way to Lake Garden, followed by Bird Park. I think I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We are leaving the National Palace of a Sultan. Look at the palm trees uh, in Malaysia. Look at the palm trees, the beautiful palm trees. Parliament building. Standing on elevated ground and commanding a panoramic view of the Lake Garden is the Parliament House, which symbolizes the democratic principles that are practiced in Malaysia. This hilltop spot in the Lake Garden area was chosen in December 1959, just two years after independence place to build the parliament building. Tikun National Monument and Asian Sculpture Garden. The National Monument or Tikun Negara was created to recognize and honor those who gave their lives in the cause of peace and freedom, particularly during the nation's struggle against the spread of communism brought in the emergency period of 1948 to 1960 against the communist insurgency. Freedom should be achieved at the cost of the sacrifice of life. How delusional, how you homo sapiens. Yes, sick, sick homo sapiens. Liberty and freedom in order to achieve them, you have to sacrifice millions of human beings. Yeah, that is the paradigm. That's the paradigm of Homo sapiens. What good can you say about this human being? It's all he has created tombstones, not the milestones. That is what Leakey, Mr. Leakey, Robert Leakey, the anthropologist, he says, humans so far have created only tombstones, not the milestones. You dirty homo sapiens. You need to re be retired. Yes. I am in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, on uh, 16th March. Month of March 2007. Jalan Chindrawasi. When you have had a feel of history, move on Jalan Chindrawasi and enjoy the fascinating green review of the Lake Garden. In the various flora and fauna parts of Kuala Lumpur Lake Gardens, one is treated to a glimpse of the answer past the beauty and variety of nation's plants and animals. Butterfly Park. This looks like a stoop park, but it is a mosque. The KL Butterfly Park was built to replicate natural habitats, the tropical rainforest. There is also an insect museum within the park, and more than 15,000 of various plant species, making it a botanical facility in itself. It promised to be an enchanting experience. Deer Park. The Deer Park, located near the lake itself, lets visitors feed the tame animals. There are a few species, big and small. Look closely in the grassy areas and you may see the tiny deer, the small and shy mouse deer, which is the smallest hoofed animal in the world. The Deer Park is a free attraction and no entrance fee is required. We have arrived at stop number 14. Lake Garden.